Hello and welcome to B News Broadcast Daily and coming right up are today's headlines. President Chong Dan Sang received Defence Minister of the Czech Republic, Alexander Von Dora, in Hanoi. Prime Minister Nguyen Dan Zung held talks with President Lee Myung Bak, beginning an official visit to the Republic of Korea on March 28. Vietnam and the United Nations have signed a new one plan with a budget of 480 million US dollars for the period from 2012 to 2016. President Jun Thanh Sang received Defense Minister of the Czech Republic, Alexander Von Dura, and the head of Lao People's Supreme Procuracy, Kham San Su Vong, in Hanoi on March 27th. We are meeting with the Czech Defense Minister. President Sang affirmed that Vietnam always attaches importance to traditional relations with the Czech Republic. He said Vietnam is willing to act as a bridge to help the Republic promote its relationship with Southeast Asian countries. The President also welcomed cooperative agreements in many fields reached between the two defense ministries, saying they are an important basis for the promotion of bilateral relations. He suggested the two countries hold regular high-level diplomatic activities and boost trade, cultural and educational cooperation. Minister Vong Dua said many Czech businesses accompanied him in this visit as they want to seek partners in Vietnam. In his opinion, bilateral two-way trade turnover does not match the two countries' potential. Our leaders of the two countries should seek measures to address this issue. At his reception for the head of the Lao People's Supreme Procuracy, Kham San Su Vong, President Sang expressed his hope that the visit will allow the two people's procuracy offices to agree on measures to increase their cooperation. The president also commended the two agencies for their collaboration in dealing with transnational crimes. Su Vong said he is delighted at the fruitful cooperation between the two countries' procuracy sectors. He affirmed the policies and measures of Vietnam will provide valuable experience to Laos in completing its system of judicial agencies. Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dung had a hectic schedule also on March 27th on the sidelines of the second nuclear security summit in Seoul. He held a series of meetings with leaders from Pakistan, Denmark, the European Union and Finland amongst others. In the meeting with his Pakistani counterpart, Raza Ghilani, PM Zum said he is delighted with the increasing two-way trade that hit 325 million US dollars last year. He said that cooperative results are yet to match the two countries' potential, and Vietnam and Pakistan should enhance ventures in investment, culture, education and training. Talking with Danish Prime Minister, Halle Thorning Schmidt, the Vietnamese government leader said he is pleased with the success of activities in celebrating 40 years of diplomatic relations last year. Building on their successful cooperation over many decades, Vietnam and Denmark have recently established a strategic partnership in the areas of climate change adaptation, environmental protection, green growth and energy. The Danish PM asked Vietnam to offer more preferential policies for Danish investors to maintain long-term business in the country, especially in such areas as food processing, renewable energy and green technology. In the meeting with European Council President Herman Van Rompuy and President of the EU Commission José Manuel Barroso, PM Zum urged the EU to make further efforts to allow negotiations for the free trade agreement to begin and promptly recognise Vietnam as a market economy. Later, the Vietnamese leader met with Finnish President Sauli Ninisto and Australian Prime Minister Julia Gillard. Prime Minister Nguyen Tân Dung began an official visit to the Republic of Korea on March 28th after attending the Seoul Nuclear Summit. On the same day, he held talks with the President of the host country, Lee Myung-bak. 
The two leaders expressed pleasure at the rapid and effective development of bilateral ties over the past 20 years, especially after the two countries upgraded their relationship to a strategic cooperative partnership in 2009. The two sides reached common perceptions on major orientations and specific measures to deepen their strategic cooperation partnership in the future. They agreed to increase the exchange of visits and contacts between high-ranking officials in various forms in order to consolidate and strengthen mutual trust and understanding. After the talks, Prime Minister Zung and President Lee ming Park witnessed the signing of several cooperative documents, including two memoranda of understanding on cooperation in the financial sector and in building technology incubators, as well as an agreement on strengthening atomic energy development cooperation for peaceful purposes. Vietnamese Finance Minister Vương Đình Huệ is in the Republic of Korea for a working visit. He met with several officials on March 27th. At the meetings with Minister of Strategy and Finance, Park Jae-wan, and National Tax Service Commissioner, Lee Hyun Dong, Minister Huệ said Korean businesses are operating effectively in Vietnam and affirmed that the Vietnamese government always creates favorable conditions for them to do business in the country. He said that Vietnam's stock and insurance markets need support from other countries, including the Republic of Korea. The Korean officials highly valued the development of the Vietnamese economy and praised the Vietnamese government's efforts in gradually stabilizing the national economy. The two sides agreed to step up cooperation in all fields, helping enhance the strategic partnership between Vietnam and the Republic of Korea. Earlier the same day, Minister Hui worked with Minister and Chairman of the Financial Services Commission, Seok Dong Kim. Vietnam and the United Nations on March 27th signed a new one plan with a budget of 480 billion US dollars for the four year period from 2012 to 2016. The plan will serve as a framework for cooperative programs between Vietnam, the UN and the International Organization for Migration in Vietnam. It maps out a common strategy to assist the Vietnamese government in addressing its priority issues in development. Uh, the UN One Plan for 2012 to 2016, which was signed today, uh, is aligned to the national socio-economic development strategy of the country. And through this plan, uh, we would support the government and the people of Vietnam in uh, meeting the objectives of the National Socioeconomic Development Plan. And we will specifically focus on three areas, uh, inclusive growth, uh, quality of basic services, uh, and that should reach all population uh, in the country. And third is uh, strengthening governance uh, in the country. The plan is one of the important pillars in the Delivering as One initiative in Vietnam. It provides the orientation for both UN and Vietnamese agencies to determine specific actions towards fulfilling the Hanoi Statement on Aid Effectiveness and the Delivering as One initiative. Vietnam earned 5.9 billion US dollars from agro, forestry and seafood exports in the first quarter of this year, almost the same as last year's figures, according to the Ministry of Agriculture and Rural Development. Major agricultural products saw a 14% drop in earnings with 3.2 million US dollars. In particular, the export of rice suffered decreases in both volume and value. The country shipped 1.3 million tons of rice in the period, down 32 percent, and earned 681 million US dollars, a drop of 29.5 percent in value. Sharing the same situation with rice are rubber and coffee. Rubber export saw a fall of 10 percent in value, and coffee down 14.3 percent over the same period last year. Meanwhile, tea, cashew nuts, and pepper were still able to maintain growth. Aquatic products brought in 1.2 billion US dollars, up 10 percent, and forestry products 922 million US dollars, up nearly 6 percent compared to the same period last year. 
apart from a 22% drop in export to Germany. Vietnam's seafood products enjoyed stable sales in other countries, such as Japan, up 22.9%, the Republic of Korea, 23.8%, and Mexico, 65.9% in the period. The central province of Thu Thinh Hue on March 27 inaugurated a school in Guangdian district that was built from the help of the Aeon Group of Japan. The new school consists of eight classrooms and two teachers' rooms, providing local pupils with comfortable schooling conditions, particularly in the flood season. It is among a total of 30 schools to be built under the cooperative program between Thu Thinh Hue province and Aeon Group, which started in 2010. The Eon Group provided three million U.S. dollars in non-refundable aid to the program. Ten primary schools have been constructed, and the remaining 20 schools are scheduled to be completed between 2012 and 2013. And those images have wrapped up today's program. Thank you for tuning in, and see you tomorrow.